This summer, I went on a Mercer on mission trip to Mozambique to study how safe they were and how much mercury they used in the gold mining process. The mines we studied were small-scale artisanal gold mines. Many artisanal gold mines exist across the world. Miners that work in these mines only produce a few grams of gold a week. Many of these miners use mercury to extract the gold from the ore to form a gold mercury mixture, called an amalgam. They then heat the amalgam to vaporize the mercury and leave behind the gold. This mercury vapor is very dangerous and can cause huge health and environmental repercussions. The first mine we visited was a mine called Cleantech. Cleantech is a small-scale gold mine owned and operated by a man named Crispin Eliash Shabaya. Crispin's mine included 120 miners and a mine shaft on the side of a hill. Crispin allowed us to tour his mine and explained each part of the gold mining process. First, we toured the mine shaft, which is where the ore is obtained for processing. The mine was dark and cool and had thick timbers lining the pathway inside. After walking for a ways along this path, we noticed a shaft going deep down. At the bottom of this hole, workers were digging out the ore. Outside the mine entrance, there was a man crushing up rock with a steel mortar and pestle. This was to test the ore to see if the mine was producing gold. The ore that was brought out of the mine was brought to a large crushing machine where the rock from the ore was crushed down to gravel size. From there, the ore was wheeled over to a turning steel ball mill where it was crushed down to a fine powder. The powder was centrifuged and then flushed through a pipe and several men with plastic buckets worked to separate out the lighter, less dense dirt and rock, leaving behind the more dense gold and iron. At other mines, the workers would have used mercury to extract the gold and then burn off the mercury to leave behind just the gold. But not here. To separate the gold from the iron, Crispin had the idea of using magnets taken from old stereo speakers to remove the iron filings, leaving behind mostly gold. From here, the gold is melted down to remove sulfur and other contaminants. By the time the gold leaves the mine, it is 93% pure. So, what makes clean tech so special? First of all, no mercury is used in any of the mining process. Crispin cares about his workers and wants a safe and healthy work environment for everybody at Cleantech. Crispin takes several other measures to make his mind special. Also, he pays his workers the government recommended wages in order to be fair. Cleantech also takes several very important safety precautions. Crispin requires all miners to wear hard hats in the mine. Also, he makes sure that the mine shafts are sturdily reinforced by having his workers put timbers in every meter. Cleantech also aims to be as environmentally sustainable as possible. Crispin makes sure that he plants trees to replace the ones that he cuts down for timbers. His use of magnets instead of mercury in the gold extraction process means that no toxic substances can harm plants, animals, or people. Gold mining, if done improperly, can be hazardous to health and devastating to the environment. So, can other mines become safe and productive like its clean tech? Of course they can, but only if they do some things differently. At clean tech, the workers were highly organized and Crispin carried a lot of authority. Also, Crispin invested a large amount of the profits from his mine into new technology in order to increase productivity. Truly, Cleantech is a model for good mining and good business.